back out the lake again, guys. First pass on. Sorry about dragging them like that, guys. First one of the day. Not a bad one either. Still shaky heading that craw D. Sun's in a bad spot there, but look at that fat bass there, guys. What a tub. He'd probably be around a brown. He's probably. He could be pushing two pounds with that belly. He's pretty fat looking. Um, where could I let him go at? There's so much muck around here. I'm gonna have to give him a, give him kind of a toss so he can makes it out of this muck here. There he goes. And he came off this bridge over here. So um, there's like I'm gonna try to zoom in and see if you guys can see these fish swimming around. I don't know if you guys can be able to see them or not. But there's a bunch of I think they're shad. Um, I reel it up and they try to attack the craw. They almost look like walleye too though, but I don't think walleye would be up here like this. I can't really tell what they are, but um, they're not too skittish, so I'm guessing they're some kind of shad. Another one on, guys. He ain't big, but still on that cotter, the shaky head. Right off this little bit of a windy point right here. We got some wind coming in right now. I think it's supposed to get pretty windy today too. I thought it was around 20 mile an hour. So there he is. See you, dude. Another one, guys. Same size as that other one. There he is. I see a little bass over here swimming around. I'm going to try to cast at him right now. I'm going to cast at the brink and bring it in because it's so shallow here. We'll see if he uh, spots it or not coming in. He's already seeing it. Oh, he's going on it right now. Got him. He eyeballed it so quickly. First bass of the day on the crowd E. Hear all the frogs going crazy. First time I heard the frogs this year, I think. First thing of the day, guys. I'm back into some really shallow water again. Green pumpkin, light blue swirl. This is the same crawl derb I've been using for about two days straight. I, I say this crawl derb has probably caught me 40 bass at least. No joke, guys. I haven't even changed it out yet. I can't believe it's lasted this long, guys. It's so awesome. I just I happen to, the sun happened to come out behind these clouds here, and the water is very clear, and I happened just to see him kind of just swim in this little spot, and he I threw it up onto the bank there, and he eyeballed it really quick coming in, and he just swarmed on it. There he goes. Right there, he came off this stick lane out here. I don't even know how I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna have to walk over somewhere and let him go because 
I can't get to any water. This is about the closest I can get to some water, guys, and there's a pretty deep hole, so it shouldn't have hurt him too much. Either. There he goes, right off to the middle again. Let's see if we get some more. Crowdy, guys. I just lost my last pea head. Um, I had more coming in the mail, but um, I had to just switch over to just throwing a Texas style with a bull weight using two uh, EWG white gap hook. A little bass there off this bridge. Another one. Sun's in a weird spot there. There he is, guys. Little guy. Little minnow there. Little minnow. There was a hit. Right off that pillar. He was tucked in next to it. Kaboom! That's what I'm talking about. There he is, guys.